Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, May 28th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across, building with many drafts. Hmm, well this is a Friday so we have to expect there might be some unindicated wordplay here. I'm thinking many drafts would maybe be like it's a drafty building? Like, there's holes in the walls somehow? Not like the building design went through a lot of drafts? Hmm. Maybe like a barn or something? Roll in the hay? This is indicated wordplay. Okay, so this is not going to be a romantic rendezvous. Um, a roll in the hay. So maybe like a literal roll in the hay? Maybe it's a hay bale, right? Because they get rolled up, right? I like that. Hmm. A bee. Could it be a barn? Some kind of barn? Heavenly dessert with lemony filling. Hmm. Angel food? Angel food doesn't have lemony filling. Hmm. Unresolved detail. Hmm. Like a hanging thread or something? Woman's name that sounds like two letters of the alphabet. Um, could it be Ellen? Ellen? Sounds like L and N, right? 905 year old in Genesis. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure about that. Is it Abel? No, he didn't live that long, did he? He got murdered. Okay. Because <laughs> that was a pretty bad guess. Hmm. Clash of the Titans. This is another wordplay clue. All right. Well, I'm liking all the wordplay so far. Um, this isn't like the Tennessee Titans or something because it's not capitalized. Hmm. Clash of the Titans. Is it like sumo? Hmm. Throws in the towel? Calls it quits or says uncle? Hmm. Runs. Wow, this is a tough little corner here. Great blank? Could that be great ape maybe? Like humans or great apes? Tough skin. Is it a scab? Ooh. This P here looks good for this being a pie. Um. Is it apple pie? That doesn't make sense. Why would it be lemony? I've never heard of a heavenly apple pie, unless a heavenly apple pie is apple pie with lemon. I don't know about that. That seems pretty unlikely. I like pie at the end, at least. This seems like it should be like callus or something, right? Postmaster? This is not going to be about a mailman, right? Um... Post. Hmm. Is it about basketball? Jeez. Pad. It could be like your apartment. Digs, maybe? Models make up often. Oof. These are all very ambiguous. Got clean. Bathed? <laughs> Maybe? This is not about getting off of drugs, right? Hmm. Is for more? So maybe this is... Okay, this is more wordplay. So maybe this is conjugating the word is. Um, so is is for a singular person. So maybe are would be for multiple people, right? All right, I feel like we finally have a toehold in here. I'm not that sure about anything in here, especially apple pie. Bit for a fortune teller? Hmm. 
bit. What kind of bit are they talking about? Like something you would give them? 90s groups? More wordplay. This is wordplay packed. This is fantastic. So 90s groups, I guess, would maybe be people in their 90s? Or something that happened in the 1990s? I think that's too close to the actual standard meaning, which would be like 90s musical groups. Hmm. First name on the Supreme Court, that should be Elena, right? For Elena Kagan. Okay. Had the gall, could that be dared? All right. We're making some progress here. Space between the ribs of an insect wing. Oh my God. Is that a deep cut biology clue or what? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get that. One pointer in horseshoes. Isn't that when you just hit the stake but don't go around it. I don't know what that's called. Without a match. Could that just be alone? Like, you don't have a match, you're alone. You don't have a pair. Enticing spot. Hmm. Is it some kind of pad? Hmm. Boy, we didn't really, we didn't really build off of this too much. Models make up often. Hmm. Like a fashion model? Or, you know what, this could be like a model that you build. What if it's balsa, like balsa wood? A lot of models are made of balsa wood. Like model kits. What could this be? One pointer in horseshoes. A leaner? I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities there. This could be digs. If this is a G, not so hard. Hmm. Man, I think we're gonna have to kind of start building some more fresh. This is not working out. Econ stat. I mean, that could be so many things. It could be GDP. Gay rights pioneer Marsha P. Johnson for one. Oof. Bud's place. Hmm. Like a friend or a beer? I don't know what kind of bud or a flower. Jazz trumpeter Jones. No music. Oh no. Offer you might have a less interest in for short. And this is wordplay. So this is probably going to be about like bank interest. Like a savings account maybe or. Oh man. Ones who might use oils in a pan. Another wordplay clue. Oils in a pan. This seems like it should be about painting, like oil painting, right? Fine artist. No, it has to be plural. Hmm. I'm blank, she's mine. Repeated lyric in do a diddy. Um, I think it has to be I'm hers. I do know that song. I think it's I'm hers. Early PM. Is this like 1 p.m.? That's the earliest 1 p.m., right? Unless you're talking about noon. Vice principal? Another wordplay clue. Wow, this is incredible. Um, so vice maybe is as in like the vice squad? In like a police department? Hmm. Police something? Hmm. Boy, this is hard. There's so many wordplay clues. Movement to reduce frivolous lawsuits. Oh, I think I've heard about this. Is it tort reform? 
Oh, that would be great if we could get that. That would be very helpful. Yeah, because tort is about lawsuits, right? Seacrest's partner on morning TV. Is that Kelly Ripa? I think it might be. Cat's Sup? Whoa. This is wordplay. I'm having a hard time parsing this. Cat sup. So this is not about ketchup, right? Um, cat's sup. Is this something that a cat would drink? Is this going to be milk? I mean, really only kittens drink milk, not cats, but... Uh, let's see if that's... Yeah, no, because this should be... Golfer's concern should be lie, like how your ball is sitting up on the grass. I'm glad it's not milk. So, sup. No, this should be not about drinking. I think it should be about eating. Because sup is to like have supper, right? I think. Um, no, that's, oh, wow. Man, this is so hard to parse. I think sup wouldn't have the apostrophe here. This is maybe like a cat's what's up, right? Like a way cats say what's up and that's just meow. <laughs> Ooh, all right, I think we've finally thought our way through that little thicket there. That was intense. That's a great clue though. That, that was wild. All right, T-Bones Treats brand, I guess is Alpo. Dog food crossing a cat. What is that craziness? Okay, province named for a daughter of Queen Victoria. Province. Is that Canada? A Canadian province, maybe? Starts with A. Alberta? I think that's the only one that fits. Okay, we're making some progress in the center. Curve cutter. Hmm, it looks like it's gonna be a saw of some kind. Uh, is it Dremel? A Dremel is... I think it's a kind of a saw. It could be a saw. I think you use it for, like, sanding, usually. Collar could be nab, like if you're a police officer. Hmm. Second. You're... If you're seconding something in a meeting, you're like backing it up or you're supporting it. Hmm. Fabric made from cellulose. Is it rayon? Could be. Hmm. Taken in? Taken in. I want this to be like about sewing or hemming or altering. Hmm. Doesn't really seem like that's what it's gonna be though. This ends in an F. Oh, is this tea leaves? Yeah, because you, if you're a fortune teller, sometimes you could read tea leaves. Oh man, that is so hard. Okay. So maybe this is a leaner. Hmm. Does it actually have to be leaning up against the stake for it to count? Huh. Oh wow, what is this? Looks like it ends in rolls. Poles? Bud's place. Hmm. 90s groups. Yeah, I just don't think I'm gonna get that. Wow, this is a very hard section. They produce results. Hmm. Results? I don't know. White House reception locale. It's not the Rose Garden? Huh. I really thought it should be the Rose Garden. Reception. Hmm. What's not working? More wordplay. I'm not mad that there's so much wordplay, but it is making this puzzle very difficult. What's not working? Like a malingerer? <laughs> I don't think so. 
brand whose famous slogan contains a double negative. Ooh, famous slogan. I guess it's something I should know. Potter's substance, is that just clay? Are they giving us a gimme here? Antithesis of light reading, more wordplay. Um, hmm. So it's not about reading a difficult book, but uh, hmm. Light reading. What is light reading in a pun? Hmm. This probably is an S. Let's take a look at this one. Aid to Captain Hook. Okay, that's definitely Smee. His first mate. White House reception locale. What is this? This should be room, I think, right? The White House reception. So, okay, so it's not the Rose Garden. Okay. Potter's substance. Oh, is it soil? Oh, man. Like a gardener, a potter, that kind of potter. Uh, is it a tome? I guess just because it's like literally a heavy book instead of being like difficult material. Very nice. Okay. They produce results. Is it tests? I guess so. Like a scientific test. What's not working? Is it free time? Like you're not at your job? You're not working. You have free time, right? Brand who's famous slogan. Okay. Is that nobody doesn't like Sarah Lee? I think it is, right? I think that's what their slogan is. I think sometimes I thought they were saying nobody does it like Sarah Lee, but I think it's nobody doesn't like Sarah Lee. That would be a double negative. Okay, Finding Nemo setting is the C. Okay, yeah, I think I'm feeling pretty good about this corner. Second. Hmm. Parts of roller coasters. Hmm. Seems like there'd be a lot of parts of roller coasters. Postmaster, right. Ends in an F? Boy, are we not going to be able to build out of this corner either? Oh, man. Second. Hmm. It's not the press room. Is it the Rose Room? I don't think I've ever heard of that. It's only the Rose Garden I've heard of. Hmm. Renowned football club founded in 1899. Oh man. Is this American football or soccer? Jeez. Seems like this might end in a D. Hmm. This could be taken in as in like fooled, like you've been fooled by a con man. Hmm. Bob Blank, Canadian ambassador to the UN. Oh my God. Talk about arcane. Isn't that strange? An equivalent phrase. Hmm. How weird. It just could be so many things. Word with hold or holy. Hmm. Lift up. Man, blank your dog, Charlie Brown. TV special. I don't know if I know this one. Job that usually requires a face covering. There's so many medical jobs that could require a face covering. Hmm. Discipline based on the principles of yin and yang. Is that Tai Chi? I want to say it might be. Leaves a grave impression, perhaps. This seems like it should be about headstones in a graveyard. Um. Hmm. 
Is this gonna be like etches? Like, hmm. Like you would etch something onto a grave? I don't know. The letters look really good though. Let's try it. Etches. He's your dog, Charlie Brown? That's possible. Home of Jinnah International Airport. Oh my god, is it Karachi? Is that with a K? I don't even know. Oh man, I'm way out on the limb here. Resort with a no snowboarders policy? Uh, gosh. Um, is this... Uh, is this the... I think this was on the puzzle a week or two ago. Yeah, it was in that, um, it was in that nasty knot with McCann. Oh, what was that? Was it Alpa? Alta. No, I think it was Alta. Yeah, that would make sense. Snobby Skiing Resort. Okay, let's hope that's what that is. Boy, I'm having to really reach to get some entries in here. Um... Holy water, hold water. Okay, yeah, those both work. Okay. Whew, all right. So I was close. I think it might be weird, huh? Okay. Lift up, I guess, could be elate. Protesters cry could be resist. Job that requires face cover. Is it a heist? <laughs> oh my God. Of course it would be wordplay. Why wouldn't it be wordplay on a puzzle that's practically 100% wordplay? What was I thinking? More than outstanding. So, something even better than outstanding? Like elite? Epic, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Parts of roller coasters could be cars. Yeah, you ride in the cars. Postmaster. Could it be some kind of chief? Oh, is this the East Room? That would make sense. Okay. Second. Hmm. Is this like in a second? Like quickly? Hmm. Surfaces. Could that be comes up? Yes, okay, very good. What in the world is this? A school saw? Oter? I don't think so. No, that should be scroll saw. Okay, I have heard of a scroll saw. Okay, so the latter. All right, so it's not the former, it's the latter. When you've described two things in a row and you wanna say the second thing, you can say it's the latter of the two options, right? Whew, okay, that's... Also a very good ambiguous clue there. Didn't just excel on, could that be aced? I'm certainly not acing this Friday puzzle. Ugh, don't know that. Vice principal. Hmm. Postmaster. Hmm. Renowned football club. Football club really does make me think it's soccer. Is it Arsenal? Arsenal is a, f a football team or a soccer team. Maybe it's not comes up. Maybe it's Arsenal and then I have a feel, is this constructor British or something? I feel like this, <laughs> this, this feels so like culturally like off to me. Oh man, with like the Canadian ambassador and this like question about professional football clubs. God, um, surfaces. Okay, could this be rose up past tense? No, that would still be should, that should be rise up, right? Surfaces. No, that would be rises up. 
Oh yeah, there's, oh man, I'm just completely befuddled. Is it not tort reform? Because for surfaces, it would have to be rises up. Uh-oh. I really thought it was tort reform. Hmm. What was this down? Ones who might use oils in a pan. Okay. Huh. Oh my god, is it art critics? Oh, that's so hard. Art critics because they're panning oils that they don't like. They're art critics. Oh my god, okay. Whoa, this is three C's in a row though. Hmm, maybe this is a K after all? A vice principal? I guess there was a movie called Vice, right? And it was about Dick Cheney. Okay. A lovely fellow. Okay. Um, uh, offer you might have less interest in for short. Oh, is it a refi? If you refinance your mortgage, right? Okay. Early PM. Is that just afternoon? Okay, it wasn't a specific time. That was screwing us up a little bit here. Could it be Chad? I still have no idea who Marsha P. Johnson is. Hmm. Probably a C. Man, we really need to build off of here. RH is unusual. Topic for a voice coach? Oh man, let's put in, let's just put in GDP. It's the most common econ stat, I think. It could be GNP also. Shouldn't this be pitch for a voice coach? Okay, it's not Arsenal. Damn, okay. <laughs> I felt pretty sure about that one. Uh, so maybe this can be comes up again. I just like that so much better. Um, that could give us tour reform, although ACM is really weird looking. Not so hard. Gentler? Oh my god. Is it gentler? I guess I should have put in digs. This looks like a nationality almost. This seems like it should be an S at the end of runs. Is this editor in chief? Oh man, like at a newspaper? The post can be a name for a newspaper, right? Editor in chief. Oh wow. Oh man, that's so hard. Okay, I don't know why there's an L here. Is it AC Milan? I mean, Milan is a city in Europe. It seems like they might have a football team. I don't know what AC stands for. It's usually FC, isn't it? Football club? It seems like it has to be aced though. Taken in. Scene? Like if you take in a movie, you see a movie. Jeez. Teaser ad is an enticing spot, yes. Oh man, all this wordplay. It's just brutal. Oh, and a bud's place is in your ear, right? Like an earbud? Wow. Okay. 90s groups. Oh, is this honor rolls because you you get a GPA in the 90s, which is like an A, so you'd be on the honor roll. Oh my god, it's so hard. Areola? Space between the ribs of an insect wing? Areola is a very flexible biological term, it seems like. There's a lot of different things that are called the areola. Okay, and this is a leaner. I guess, yeah, maybe it's like it ends up touching the stake but not going around it. Interesting. Okay. Oh, is this something icon? It's not a nationality. 
Um, I'm not sure what kind of icon she was, though. Shoot. Chad. Crass icon? I don't think so. Hmm. Tough skin? Could that be a rind? That's a tough skin. Okay. Unresolved detail. Oh, that's just a loose end. How did I not see that? Jeez, that's like such an obvious answer for that. Okay. Oh, what is this? Wonder if it's not Ellen. Clash of the Titans. I should oh, actually I should take out Apple Pie because that was a very unlikely guess. Okay. Building with many drafts. Wait a minute. Drafts can be a beer, right? So maybe it's a bar of some kind. A beer bar. A beer bar would have a lot of drafts. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just was, my head was not in as much of a wordplay mode as it needed to be for this puzzle. I feel like 75% of these questions were wordplay. This was crazy high density of wordplay, which I respect. That's, that's very good. It's playing very hard though. Runs. It's not blends, is it? I guess if colors are running, they could be blending. Maybe it is blending. Resigns? It's not Ellen. Ah, okay. That was holding us back. Throws in the towel is resigns. Okay. Uh, angel pie? I've never heard of angel pie. I think it has to be, though, just because it's called heavenly in the clue. Um, is this Enos? I think these all have to be right. So what is this? Clash of the Titans. Egos? Like an ego clash between two really egotistical people? Essen? I don't think that's a girl's name. It's not a woman's name. Hmm. The only other letter that even seems to make anything is Egon. Like from Ghostbusters? That makes no sense. Egos. I think it has to be egos if everything else is right. Is this literally referring to like the Titans in like Greek mythology? Like they had big egos so they were clashing? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm just going to try an S in here because I don't know what else to do. And then maybe we can try and figure out exactly what this woman's name should actually be. Wait, do we have a, a square not filled? Oh, no, we do. Okay. Oh, this has got to be trans icon, right? And then this is Thad. Okay. Let's... Okay, so I have never heard of Thad Jones before, but trans icon is pretty easy to infer after you get all that stuff in there. Okay, so that's fine. Um, I still think we're going to have trouble in this section once we put this in. Let's try it. Yeah. Okay. It's got to be, the mistake has to be here somewhere. Let me tinker around with this for a little bit and, and get back to you once I figure out what we have wrong. You know what? This should be, runs shouldn't be blends. It should be bleeds, right? Oh, <laughs> and that's all it was. Wait a minute. Okay, so 4136, that's a really slow time for a Friday for us. That's that's probably about 50% above our usual time. Wow, this was so hard. Essie, I don't know if I've ever seen this name before. Enos, I mean, yeah, I guess. That sounds like a biblical name. Egos. Why is this Egos? Clash of the Titans. Is it about the actual Titans? I guess it could be. I still thought we'd have something wrong here. Man. Look at this puzzle. There is so much wordplay here. I can't even handle it. 
All right, let's look at the downs. I feel like the downs had tons of wordplay. One, bail is wordplay. This is wordplay. Not really, kind of ambiguous. This was definitely wordplay. It was unindicated because that model, I mean, because when you see models makeup, it just makes you think of fashion models, right? This is definitely a wordplay clue. Another wordplay clue. Another wordplay clue. Another wordplay clue. Yeah, these downs are just one after another. This is also ambiguous. Very ambiguous. Another wordplay clue. Look at this. Another one. I like this one a lot. Another one. This was the craziest <laughs> wordplay clue of the whole puzzle. Um, aced, yeah. Karachi. Well, not wordplay, but hard. Man, yeah. Yeah, this is tricky too. I mean, it's not wordplay, but it's very hard. This is another, like, could be wordplay. Another wordplay. Yeah, all these downs are just... Look at how many wordplay clues there were on just the downs. There weren't as many in the acrosses, but there were still some. Yeah, wow. What a tricky puzzle. This was so, this played so, so hard, like way, way harder than a usual Friday puzzle, in my opinion. But all that said, I love wordplay. So even though this gave us such a hard time, I think I really liked it after all that pain and suffering. So I think part of the issue we had was just some of the stuff we didn't know. I got kind of bad luck with some of the guesses I put in that made things take a little longer. Um, like that, this name, I wanted Ellen instead of SC. I definitely shouldn't have put in apple pie because it really didn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, in the end, I think this is a very strong puzzle. There's not a lot of small stuff. There's tons of wordplay. Uh, yeah, very, very tricky Friday puzzle. I'm not gonna write the editor in chief at the puzzles department about this one. This one was very nice, even though it was very punishingly hard. All right, well, I'm gonna stop rambling on about this very difficult Friday puzzle. I hope you enjoyed struggling through that one with me. We've got potentially an even harder puzzle in store for us tomorrow with the Saturday, but I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.